morning. Today we're going to do a uh, a video on taking uh, honey off of this uh, one beehive we have here. And uh, it's a little late in the season, and uh, there's two honey supers on top of it. Uh, but it's a little late in the season, and sometimes they get a little, uh, a little agitated later in the summer, more so than in the uh, late spring. So we're gonna see how this goes, and see if we can get a little bit of honey off here, and also. I need to split this hive. In other words, make two hives out of one, I believe. I think there's a whole lot of bees living in here. So let's get suited up and uh, go in here and see what's in this hive. the uh, honey frames out of the hive and now what I'm doing is uh, cutting off the the cap that seals the honey and I hit it first with the electric knife and then I come along with this tool and break any of the low spots loose so that the honey will flow out when it goes in the spinner so you can see this is a nice full frame of uh, honey here. It was attached to another frame right there, but it's a nice, very full, couple little empty cells, but very nice. And this is a hot knife. 
and it just cuts the top wax cap off of that so that the honey will spin out. And then you like to see this little low area right here. I just hit it with this little scraper, scratcher. Get along the edge there, little spots. And that should be good. And now we're gonna put it in the honey spinner. Just gonna spin it out. We already got one frame in there. So I put one frame on each side. There's the other frame. So there's one frame on each side. And as it spins out, it's gonna come out and it's gonna come out down here into this bucket and I've got three filters to grab the <clears throat> strain out the, the, the wax cappings, little pieces of wax that come through and it eventually goes in that bucket. So I'm gonna turn this on, start it out a little bit slow. As it slings a little bit out, I'm going to uh, we'll go, let's, let's watch and see how much honey is getting ready to come out of the box in this thing. Get the uh, we'll get the other side out and see all this honey hits the side walls of the the spinner and then goes to the bottom. So I'm just turning these and moving these. There's two sides to a honeycomb. So now that side is over there. And let's turn this. We're gonna spin the opposite side. tilted it up just a little bit. Get some out of the bottom just been sitting there. So you can see the honey coming out. So we'll get a couple of gallons out of this. And uh, we'll come back. Well, <clears throat> I'll show you what it looks like after all the honey spun out. Then you see it's nice, empty frame. So, ready for it. Uh, the bees will reuse this just like a. a empty returnable bottle and they'll fill these cells right back up with the uh, honey. Uh, the basic structure of the, the honeycomb is still there so they'll just reuse it, clean it up, trim it up a little bit and uh, pretty amazing thing. So we'll come back when we're ready to uh, put this in the bottles and we'll see how many bottles we get out of uh, what we have is two supers. And this is the uh, where I've been cutting the wax cappings. And we will strain that, and there will probably be close to at least a quart of honey, if not more, that'll come out of that. But that'll, come, that'll happen later. It takes a while for the honey to settle out of all this stuff. All right, so we'll be back later. Then after we clean up what uh, all the honey that we can scrape off and get, there's still a, 
honey in the cappings. That's a pile of cappings. But they will clean everything out of the spinner, the strainers. Everything gets cleaned out. And then I can reuse that wax for something else. Okay, and so now we're uh, jarring the honey, bottling the honey, and we're putting this in pint mason jars, which hold one pound, six ounces. Now, when you buy honey at a store, you're gonna buy it by the pound, not the, out, not the uh, liquid ounces. So you're actually only, when you buy one pound of honey out of one of those little jars, you're actually getting 12 ounces. Whereas uh, this pint, is about 22 ounces, which is, you're getting a whole lot more honey. And this is wildflower honey. And this is the kind of honey that, uh, that helps you, uh, gives you some immunity to the pollen and the wildflowers that bother a lot of people in the spring and fall. So we'll finish bottling this up and after we get done we'll see how much we have. Well this is Qu Queen Bee here talking. We have finished jarring up our honey. We got 26 pints and two quarts. So um, me and Daddy Bee have decided that we're going to sell this for $16 a pint. And if you think that's high, well, it's a lot of hard work to do this. And it's very good honey. So if you want a pint jar of honey, let me or Daddy B know and we'll get you some.